And 23 ABC's Alex Bell is joining us now in the live center with more on today's events. Alex. Yes, we continue our coverage of the events on Capitol Hill and joining us to shed some light on the situation that's unfolding in Washington, D.C. is Jeremy Adams. He's a political analyst and lecturer at CSUB. Thank you, Jeremy, for joining us once again. Let's first talk about the 25th Amendment. Can you explain what the 25th Amendment of the Constitution is? And could we see Vice President uh, Pence or Congress or even the Senate call for the 25th Amendment of the Constitution? Uh, absolutely, Alex. Uh, there are a number of options that are on the table right now. Uh, you've heard different suggestions today, such as uh, Republican leadership, such as McCarthy and Cheney and McConnell should, should go into the White House tomorrow and ask for his resignation. You have Representative Il Ilhan Omar of Minnesota already drafting articles of impeachment. But really what you're going to hear about in the next few days is a lot about the 25th Amendment. Most Americans aren't aware that the vice president can, in fact, remove the president if he gets a majority of the cabinet secretaries on on his side. And what's interesting about this, Alex, is that it stays for 21 days. That after 21 days, the House of Representatives with a two thirds vote can vote to maintain or reject what the vice president did. But of course, we only have two weeks left to go. So technically, Mike Pence can remove Donald Trump. All right. And speaking of those two weeks, what do you think the next 14, 15 days are going to look like? I think that's a question on everyone's mind. What do you think we're going to see? Well, if I had to look into my crystal ball, there are with this president, anything is possible. Uh, of course, he could just play 14 straight days of golf. Uh, but if I if I really had to bear down, I, I would suggest that maybe he lays the groundwork for what comes next. Maybe a Trump news network. Uh, if I am President Xi of China, if I'm an Ayatollah in Iran, uh, if I'm Putin in Russia, who knows what kind of havoc and shenanigans they might put onto the United States in the 14 days when they know that everything is very fragile here. here. Uh, but most of all, if I had to predict, Alex, if you're really going to put me down to it, I would suggest that Donald Trump might be the first U.S. president to try and actually pardon himself at the last minute. So we'll see if that happens in the next two weeks. So you think that we could actually see him try to pardon himself? If there's one thing that is true about Donald Trump is that he is not a conventional president. He does things a different way. Uh, and, and this is the kind of thing that the Justice Department looked at back in the 1970s, said it violates the spirit of the pardoning power. But something tells me that might not matter this year. All right. And lastly, just really quickly, why do you think it felt it was important for Congress? Why do you think they felt it was important to reconvene tonight? It was absolutely important because they had to demonstrate the resilience of our constitutional system. We had to show as a nation that beyond being Republicans or Democrats, beyond being partisans, we are patriots and that constitutional norms matter, that our leaders cannot be bullied, they cannot be pushed away. And most of all, most of all, he had to show that constitutional duties trump any kind of partisanship. I'm reminded of what George W. Bush said on 9-11, where even though the Secret Service told him, you know, you, you don't need to go back to the White House, it was imperative in George W. Bush's mind that he get back to the White House to make sure that the seat of government was still in place and to understand that the Constitution was still functioning. I'm glad that the Congress decided to do that, no matter how late they had to stay in session tonight. All right. Thank you, Jeremy. That's going to do it for us right now. Jess, I'm going to go ahead and send it back over to you.